Hi, my name is Andy McHugo from McHugo Homes. Welcome to the latest video of uh, Market Insight. I want to give you five questions to ask an estate agent on a property valuation in what is a very positive vendor's market. Not your usual fee questions, do you advertise on right move, will my property sell? A lot of these things are uh, taken for granted at the moment. I want to be looking at the best five questions at this moment. The first question to ask on a property valuation at the moment, presuming that there's a good level of buyer out there at the moment, which there is for most properties, first question I would ask, be asking is, should I take the very first offer I receive? I see a lot of people, and you'll probably hear of a lot of neighbours, family, friends, etc. that are saying they sold very quickly, 48 hours, same day sometimes as listing it, within a week. What is the right time to hold your nerve? and wait for maybe the second offer or multi-offers to come forward, make sure you ask that question and have a, 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 hopefully the agent has a strategy to help you with that. This leads directly on to the second question. A lot of people will have uh, an expectation of what price they'd want to achieve. And, and as the market sort of gets a little bit carried away at the moment, they may have a really aspirational price. So if you have an aspirational price and a price you're wanting to achieve, do ask the agent, you're prepared to wait for the right price what is the strategy to, to go and get that price? Make sure there is a plan in place, not just a stick it on right, move a Zoopla and hope for the best approach. The third question here is really forward planning. Thinking that on, on a positive aspect that you're going to achieve a sale for the, the house, what is the agent's process post-sale? Do they get involved with the sales progression? This actually can be the hardest part in the current market, ensuring that sales actually go through to completion. The solicitors obviously play their part. What is the agent's role and, and what to expect from yourself as a vendor during that process? Uh, I did a video recently where close to 54,000 transactions were falling through. That was January to March alone nationally. Amazing stats really. And like I say, the easiest bit sometimes it is actually finding the buyers in this market. It's actually the hardest bit, taking it through to a successful completion. Make sure that question is asked. The fourth question is directly relative to the sales transaction that's going through post-sale. And that is, what do I do if my, if my buyer lowers their offer? It does happen. Uh, there's a number of reasons this can happen. It can be change of mindset, change of circumstances, unsure of their own finances. A big factor when a lot of uh, people are offering over asking prices at the moment is if the banks value the property on the survey the same as the, the buyer values it on their expectation as well. So it's definitely a question you should be asking at the moment. The last question in the series of questions to ask estate agents on a property valuation is definitely the most cheekiest. You will possibly have uh, a number of agents come around to value your property based on uh, what you perceive as their maybe brand in the area, their, hopefully their experience in the area. And then if someone comes to sit in your living room and discuss their credentials for you, this should involve market knowledge and local knowledge. The best way to find this out and distinguish from who is almost telling you the truth and backing up their credentials is to ask them directly, what school catchment does my house or flat qualify for? They are then really going to have to know their area to give you that answer. And it might be the difference in you having the confidence to go with said agents. Definitely ask the question. Very cheeky, like I say. It's something I've been asked in the past and, and I'm glad people do. I think it's really important to do so. I love the opportunity to discuss answering these questions for you and that my strategy uh, and plans for selling your property and the process that, that follows that as well. Reach out to me on 0121 517 0251 or email andy at mckugohomes.co.uk. Look forward to hearing from you.